Hello everyone and welcome back. We are back playing Skyrim. It's been a couple days for me. Oh no, is it daylight? Really? That's never good. Um, yeah, we're back. I, I can't remember if I said this. I think I did. But it's been a couple days. It has. But we were on our way to Volkahar Castle. I have no idea if my followers are really behind me. Where's Thin? Goodness. He's being difficult. He really, really is. <laughs> um, I have actually left off right here, but he <laughs> showing up for some reason. So I went into the tavern, and he was there. Dragons breathing fire in the sky. Yes. There he is. What are you doing? Hey, yeah. Well, since we're here, I as well sleep. Fate is the name. I sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thanks. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Or no, girl. Or no. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Whoa. <laughs> Let's see. There's too many people in here. Ha. <laughs> oh, there really is. <laughs> I thought I was, you know, going to be joking right there, but apparently not. Alright, let's see if he's behind me. Yes. I better save this, because... <sighs> Hello. Again. I just crashed. Again. <laughs> um. So if I repeat myself, I'm, I apologize. I've... This is crash number four. So, hopefully... I won't crash again. It's just been very random. <laughs> very random. Um, I don't know why. I really don't know why. I've crashed right here. I've crashed um, just at where the Clara Lux dude was. I crashed there twice. And then I crashed a little bit further down, which was Lost Echo. I crashed right there too. So this is, what, number five? I guess this is number five then, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's, let's hope I make it this time. <laughs> I don't, I don't wanna crash again. I hate crashing. It's not like I even get a warning or it just stops responding. It just crashes to the desktop. But the last run I had, there was like... Holy crap. There was... Some Dawn Guard down below, and then there were some Dawn Guard here. So knowing my luck, that really interesting thing that happened two times before. Wow. Okay. Two times before probably won't be there. So annoying. I don't know if I'll leave it in for you guys. I might cut it out because 
that's just me running through this little spot over and over again. <sighs> just let them, uh, let them deal with that with themselves. Oh, not, oh, hello tree. <laughs> Um, so this interesting that the interesting thing that happened was right in here. I'll probably um at least leave that in guys. <laughs> it's not here. So annoying. But I've gotten quite far, so I'm gonna do a real save. It was actually, if I don't leave it in, um, maybe I'll just cut it out. I don't know. I'm rambling, right? Um, if I decide to leave it in, then um, I won't cut this dialogue out. But basically what, oh yay, I leveled. <laughs> basically what happened back there was um, there was a Dawn Guard body. The guy had a name. I can't remember his name. It star it started with a, you, a V. What? Next time, you won't be such dicks. Well, probably will. <laughs> I can't control that, can I? Not one bit. Vegetables! Very serana. Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> okay, so I was talking about that thing. Basically, it was like a treasure map for the Dawn Guard. Very interesting. Um, had some locations for you to go check out, and you got a key along with it. Whoa, that was weird. Where the heck is she? Oh no. Still not concern you, citizen. Walk away now. Is this that her? Really? Would that be her? Kinda looked like her. Why am I having such huge issues with her? Oh, I completely walked through her. <sighs> There's an unofficial Dawn Guard patch. Maybe it'll fix her. At least it'll get rid of that annoying noise. Here we go. Oh, all right. Let's try this again. <sighs> so... Speaking of which, <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't crashed yet. Very surprised. This is like the furthest I've gotten. And it's probably because of that stupid program I had open. There's really no need for it to be open. You're interfering with official Thalmor business. Shut up. I really don't like the Thalmor. That looks pretty cool. All windy and stuff up here. Is it getting dark? Good. 
my little shortcut that my followers never follow. Whoa, tree pop in. Hopefully, I don't get murdered down here. I wonder if all those little bunnies are still here. Wow. Oh, I had my night vision on already? It seems a little dark. There's the bunnies. Making sure there's no bears or something stupid. Oh god, I hate water. I hate water. Oh, I hate water. I really, really hate water. Oh. Uh, uh, rock. Alright! <laughs> Finally! Finally! We made it! Hmm. Oh look, there they are. Not too far behind me. There's one, I should say. I wonder who it is. It looks like Faden. God. Wait, there's Serana. Yes! At least they were fairly fast getting down the side of the hill this time. Oh yeah, and I leveled. Let's do that real quick. Mm. Gosh, sometimes the boosting stuff, I don't like it because I don't know which one I really need to invest in. Um, let's do some magic up for now. I have a perk I'll look at later. Yep. All right. Uh oh. Ah! Jeez. Oh, Serana. Why are you running on that? That's funny. Totally missed. Oh. There we go. Oh, yep. Good times. Oh wow, I can actually see one of the moons. Very clearly. He's Holy there. crap! I knew I heard something. <laughs> oh god. Oh goodness. Yeah. <laughs> um, apparently I don't remember how to fight Serana. I'm glad you still do. A thousand bounty to- Oh, hell no. Well, this isn't working. So we're gonna have to go down. Uh. I should have raised the buddy. Oh crap. Did he come down? Finally. Did I get. I bet I still have that stupid bounty! He's dead. How come I'm not- okay. Oh, I should have done that. That would have- no, it wouldn't have worked. I was just thinking, hey, I could have stuck up on him and- But, we're in combat. Wouldn't have worked. Wouldn't have worked. Stairs. Ugh. I looted that body, didn't I? I think I did. Oh my. Yay, 
way. We made it here. Whew. I was beginning to worry that it wasn't going to load. Um. Yo. What am I doing anyways? Yes. How may I serve you, milady? I am afraid I won't be able to help you with the scrolls any longer, milady. Oh no! Please do not be angry with me. I'm afraid in my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the time I needed to prepare. The failure is purely mine to bear. As you can see from my bandages, it's not that I am unwilling. It's that I am physically unable. So oh, gosh. Oh, please, milady. Please, forgive me. If only such a miracle existed, I'd overcome the impossible in order to secure it. If it meant pleasing you. <laughs> what? Although I would gladly die by your hand, perhaps I could offer an alternative way to read the scrolls. Okay. Oh, thank you, milady. Thank you. Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim in the Pine Forest. Hmm. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. It involves okay. carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract Ancestor Moths to you. Once enough of the Moths are following, They'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Every moth priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. Mm -hmm. Doesn't From what sound I saw too in the exciting. Vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, how is the moth? Well, as I'm sure you figured out by now, it's no mere coincidence that we're named Moth Priests. The voice of the Ancestor Moth has always been an integral part of reading the Elder Scrolls. Oh, the Moths don't literally read the scrolls, but they maintain a connection to ancient magic that allows the Moth Priests to decipher them. If you listen closely when you find the Glade, you should be able to hear their song, a soft, harmonious trilling. It's through this ancestral chorus that the moths tap into a form of primal augur and become a conduit for deciphering the scrolls. By having the ancestor moths close to the moth priest, they can utilize the conduit and share the moth's augury. Only the most resilient of priests can do it this way. It takes years of practice to interpret the harmony. You've come this far. And you found several Elder Scrolls. Whether you believe it or not, the Scrolls have a mind of their own. If they did not want you to find them, they would not allow it. Because of this, I strongly believe you were meant to hear the Ancestral Chorus. Only one way to find out. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, well, we'll do it this. is our sacred duty to study the Elder Scrolls. We read these ancient scrolls of prophecy in order to divine the future. Okay, I'm bored. We use that knowledge to aid It's bad, isn't it? Sometimes we venture out into the world in search of more scrolls for our library at the White Gold Tower. That is the very purpose that first brought me to Skyrim. It is the great spire at the heart of the Imperial City among the tallest towers in all of Tamriel. The lower floors are home to the Imperial Council, and the Order of Moth Priests occupies the middle floors. The tower suffered damage in the recent war with the Altmeri Dominion, 
and is not what it once was. I hope one day to see it restored to its former glory. Um. Oh my gosh. Okay, what went wrong? Well, he read it without being prepared. Okay. Um. Is it normal? I'm gonna say. Sorry. Um. It's raining where I am right now. It's really, really loud. Sadly, yes. Yes. It is the inevitable fate we agree to pursue when reading the Elder Scrolls. It generally does not occur until a moth priest is in his latter years. But in my case, I simply was not preparing myself properly. Oh, she automatically asked. Deciphering one of the Elder Scrolls is nothing like reading a simple book. There is quite a bit of ritual and concentration. Stop hammering. Required. It can take months or even years oh to complete a single scroll, and even then, months to recover. Okay, so. Fortune smile upon you, my lady. <laughs> Thanks. Let's get out of here. No, wait, wait, wait. I gotta sell some stuff. If you need anything, say the word. I, I keep the forge running day and night in case Lord Harkon needs anything. Okay. You have quite a stash there, though. Oh, yeah. That's mine. <laughs> um, how come it keeps getting such a smattering? That's frustrating. Um, I don't know if I've disenchanted one of those yet. I can sell that. I have no use for that. I'm keeping that. Wow, I can't sell much, can I? Oh wait, she might have some stuff. I might be able to... I hope it's iron. I'm pretty sure it was iron. Until next time. Yes, yes, yes. Um, smithing. I'm already wearing it. I thought my armor... Did I sell my armor, Aizen? Or did I drop it? Oh, I have my necklace and my ring. I must have sold it. Ah, I just... Get off. Armor smithing. Come on. There we go. Um. No. Wait. Yeah, you can use that. Oh, so slow, so slow. Oh, yes, I can improve it by four. Uh, let's see if I have any potions. Ooh, 50% better. That's awesome. I didn't know. Okay, we'll try it. I hope we reach Ancestor Glade soon. And, oh, totally did the wrong one. Still four. Well, it's fine. If I'm accidentally wearing my smithing armor... I still weigh too much. I need to get my horse again. Never made it far in the companions. No, no, no. No! I don't see any of them try and call me whelp again. I can't even exit! One saw Harkon rip a man in half. Shush. He's powerful like you wouldn't believe. Yes. Good, good for him. <laughs> Still can't. Can't make these any better. Alright. Well, that was just not. Uh, yeah. 
Okay. Um. Put that on, and we will put these on. And I don't remember what I was wearing before. Probably this. No, I was wearing this. That's why I weigh so much. Increase frost resistance. Did I not make anything? Oh. Hey, I can sell that crap. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So, I guess the next part of this is going to be us going to find the moths. And deciphering what's going on with that. I hope you find life in the castle. I've scrounged up a few things. So, Here, please take a look. I will cut the rest of this out and we will just, you know, continue our journey in the next video. So, thank you for watching and um I appreciate all your likes and comments and all of you favoriting and and um subbing my channel. I do appreciate it and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.